Have you ever reached a level where people will favor you? People want to promote you in life, but they can't help you when you are facing danger. In other words, they are limited somewhere. They want to lift you, but they can't reach you. You know, this king says, no one will change this. Daniel has been set up. He said, including me, I can't change this. I had a thought of lifting him. But when it comes to this, I can't do anything. We need to reach a level where we understand this. Is there. We have many people to lift us up. But they are limited somewhere. It's only God who can save you. My topic is only God. Just write only God. God is the only one who can make you to pass where other people cannot help you. When you read there, Daniel did not do anything wrong. Daniel There was nothing that Daniel did. The, you know, when they found out, the Bible says he was faithful. They check they accuse him by his God that he is praying all the time. So, Mario had rise to say. He saw God being worshipped by Daniel. Daniel was always praying. But what he is facing now is him and God. If God can save him, even me, I can't do anything. And he says, it's only God who can lift him up. Touch your neighbor, my friend. Whatever you are facing, you need only God. Only this God can see. When Daniel was there inside, it was not finished. The stone was rolled to cover the mouth. In other words, there was no sign of coming out. You know, that's the first thing. The stone was rolled to cover the mouth. The second thing, the signature of saying is finished with him. And all this could not stop God to save them. That's what I'm afraid. Even if people can bury you, then there is only God who can leave you. You know the Bible says, He will never leave us or forsake us. You know, sometimes you look at people, you end up underestimating this God. You underestimated this God yourself. By looking at you, people who are not helping you. They are limited. It's only God who can help you. Sometimes you look at your life, you try, you try to do many things unless God is involved. You can't go anywhere. I was learning that when God is involved, Everything works for your perfect. Tell when God is involved, everything works for your best. You can't do it alone. If people have disappointed you, 
They can't support you. There is God whom we serve. His name is Jehovah Shama. Today he will never leave. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are here who have experienced rejection? Can I tell you this? That rejection was drawing closer to the God. Daniel faced the same. Daniel faced the same. But he overcome. The Bible says the same night. The king could not sleep. Listen to this. You know what? This night. This night. This night the one who was supposed to sleep. He won't sleep. Because it's God who will close the mouth of your enemy. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen. Listen. If Dario, Dario could not sleep, even that one who wanted to promote you, he will fail to sleep. Can I tell you this? God must do it that way. Why? Because Otherwise, Daniel could overspend time in Lion's Den and stay there with lions. Listen, God could save Daniel in Lion's Den. But if somebody cannot come and open the door, he can still be there with lions. Listen. When God uses Dario to open the door. Was to make his enemies to enter his life. Today. As you are coming out. You will meet your enemies. As you are coming out. You are meeting your enemies enter. It's a freeway. You, you see on freeway. freeway. You know, there's a, a something that has been built on the other side. But it goes to the same place where you come from. As you are going there, they are using another road to go where you come from. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Read John 5 from verse 6 to 9. You know, when I read that, I was shocked. About the men who slept there 38 years. Are you hearing that? I want to show you something. There. John 5. Just read verse 6 to 9. Are you there? Are you there? Let me read for you. He says, when Jesus saw him lying and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, will thus thou be made whole? And the sick man answered him, say, I have no man when the, matter, the water is troubled, is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, another stepped down before me. Amen. Jesus said unto him, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk. And straight away, the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walk. Amen. If you read there, you, <inaudible> <will see, inaudible> you will see a man lying, <inaudible> and there were things noticeable of showing that he has been there have you ever realized that when you sit in a place if you are not moving you get the dust of the place there is no sign around you 
of showing that somebody entered there where you are sleeping sleeping. it was just like that Jesus look at this man and see that he has he has been there for a long time. In other words, he has been forgotten. No one was coming close to him. It was only Jesus who entered a place where everybody was rejected. It was only Jesus when everybody was gone that he went close to us. One of the questions was because he saw he has been there. Do you want to be whole? <coughs> this man answered to prove that there is nobody. I have nobody that can help you. Jesus knew that this man where there is nobody God is there. Listen, there are some situations that prolong and takes time. Those situations chase people away. It, those situations bring God close. Listen, when people are away, when they go away, God there's a difference of involvement of people and God involved. When, when people go away, God comes and looks. When Jesus came close, he realized that the signs around there is no change in the There's stagnation. There's a great limitation. There's no one who's trying. He said, All the signs you are seeing, Jesus. When I try to go there, when I try to do something, somebody does it. Have you ever found when you try to do business, you want to put a business there, and somebody does it. You, you want to get a job somewhere. You find somebody you know is Jesus working there. Jesus could not waste time. Jesus could Though he saw the signs of showing that this man has been there for a long time. He defied those signs and said, rise up and walk. And the Bible says the strength came upon him. He stood up and he did what he could not do 38 years ago. There are things that he will never do. It takes only God to be involved so that he will do things that you have never done. Things that people left you because you could not do. When God is involved, you will do better. You will receive strength and walk tall to your destiny. There are some people who are here. You need God alone. When he is involved, you will do things that people say you can't do. There are some people who have been rated that they can do things better than you. But when God is involved, you can be better than I them. prophesy today, I see strength entering you to do things that other people can they can admire to do it, but they won't do it. You are overtaking. You are overtaking. I say you are overtaking. I say you are overtaking. I say you are overtaking.
Listen. La lela. When God is involved. Ha mudi mo katanelela. You are more than the conqueror. Ufiti shaba ba shooting. It takes only God. Ochiya fela mudi imu. To go to a real. Ore aye amosi mo. Where no one cannot go. Mos ne mutha kona nguya. If you read about Peter. Au kamala tapa ja Petro. It's only Jesus. Kiche so fela. I command you. Ala e chingar ke aulaela. To walk on the water. Oru ta usi pila kodi mo mudi imu. And Peter believed. Petro ata adumela. He walk on the water. Asi pila kodi mo meezi. It's only God. He can allow you to do things. You have never been born to do. And you do them perfect. You are here today. I see you doing things. You can shock your neighbor. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Call at the day of warning about time. Call at the day of warning about friends. Your time is going. I'm here to tell you. You cannot. Ori we na ukata wa fita, batu malinka une, we na ukapila mo pilo, me mukati wa ubatu wa ufu, au jume la shishi na mchole kwa ori e. We need to be Christians. Rito kwa ba pulusha. Who takes God only? Ba ucheta mudi mu fela. Only God. Mudi mu fela. Can lift. Aka pamis. Can lift you. When people have left. You see, when God wants to do something, check people around you. They have to leave you first. When they leave you, God is establishing. He is putting things that they don't know about. You need God. You can't do it alone. When I read about Mary, when she was told, Mary, we know you're not married, but there's a child through the Holy Spirit that is coming. Mary said, how? She looked at the naturality of it. Usually we look at the naturality of the thing. Nah. Born in Makananisa. How can I do that? An angel said, The power from above will come and overshadow you. That power will create something from the Holy Spirit. We need Christians to understand with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. Are you hearing that? Because now we are coming to church. But we are still doubting the same God. We are doubting God. When we look at our challenges, we feel like God has failed us. God didn't fail you. Your challenge is nothing before God. God wants to solve it today. God wants to solve your challenge today. God wants to solve your challenge today. Not tomorrow. Today. Don't judge yourself by what you are facing. It takes only God. Only God. To take you to a place where no one in your family has never reached. It takes only God. Only God. To lift your standard. When everybody is laughing at you. It takes only God. To lift your standard. It takes only God. When people are saying, you can't go anywhere. And they will be surprised if you are giving a testimony. That will shake their ears. If you are around here, if you believe today is your day, you can shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You and God are powerful. You and God. You are more than your enemies. You know what happened to Elijah? The Bible says he had a nature like us. Sometimes he will be saying, ah, my things. The nature of a person 
Na kwa Sometimes you worry. Na kwa chedi ngoma vilaela. Sometimes you complain. Na kwa chedi ngono ngongoreya. But he had faith. Mara nana litumelo. He believed God. Na tumelo ngomo jemo aholo. One day. He said there will be no rain. Are pula yona ikasi ne. God had it. Mudemo akwa tulelo ya hai. It happened. Ya di ala jolo ya si. Even the seven who was there do not believe him. The Bible says Bible he spoke and said tell King Ahab to run with the wagon. He must go away with the wagon. Because the big rain is coming. Listen. When Ahab was moving and the Bible says Bible Elijah Elia God power atolamata he ran better than a wagon think about when you can run naana wena ukitima better than a car washia koloi it takes god ich nyaka muti mutaba yeo to do the impossible or udiye din tocha usukhona hale a man cannot do yauri muthu apa loka udidira if you ever pass a car on kile wana wa kitima wa fita koloi i believe that day e ke atumela tsa chile wa ah bo wase hoxa ga bana re this man monna wena there is something wona le ntwe ngwe mo go yena when they were busy ka hore hana le busy beating the, the horses and she have a tadi di 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 pero di kitima di nche di kitima di tsona pele yena na du chi fela the man of god elijah matanga mo di mo elia was just warming up ata kitima o kare wa ichurulla just warming up a ichurulla can i tell you this er ke le botseng taba she when some people think ha ba tshwa bang ba nna hana they have realized themselves or o kare ba fa i pitetse and they are going closer ni le ba ya ga o sile bo yo ba bona ka le ba ka la re hona le nto tshuku ye ka ba tsheng ya ba isa ke hallelujah Praise the Lord. Check some say hey. You need to have God. You must check yourself. Whether God is involved. Or it is yourself. When God is involved. Even if people can curse you. They are wasting their time. Those who try to wish. Is their shame. When God is in you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Take God to be in you. Forget about your failures. Forget about about your past. Forget about what people are saying. Forget about what people are thinking about. God can take you forward. God can take you ahead of your troubles. Ahead of your troubles. Ahead of your troubles. Ahead of your friends. Ahead of your family. Today is your day to overtake. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shake some and say, hey. This is not like a free. I'm overtaking. Now I'm not going to fight. You need to have God. But talk about them. Only God. Only God. Only God. If you go to the Bible, how you back in Bible? Read what God did. 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 Read what God When Peter Apetro was arrested Aswabwa You know when he was arrested Le bona aswere If you just read Acts 12 there Ao ka bala ditiro 12 You will find that the Bible says they they continue in prayer Bible re ba ina ba tsela pele tapelo But the day when the angel takes him out Mara jo no ntsa jilela morongwa moncha I don't want to talk about that I want to talk about when he reached at the door of the disciples They were busy praying But they knew it was finished Peter. When he knocked there They say oh 
Somebody is knocking. There was a girl called Rhoda. She ran to the door. The moment when she reaches there, because of excitement, she realized, ah, it's Peter. God has answered our prayer. When she went back, she said, hey, Peter is at the door. Because they knew the situation of of Herod. Herod could kill. He killed James. And he wanted Peter. So they knew though they were praying. It was impossible to take Peter back. But that night, that night, God heard their prayer. Peter came there and he Peter. Can I tell you this? Don't you think it's impossible for your prayers to be answered? But I'm telling you, your answer is at the door. It's at the door. God heard your prayer. It takes God to answer you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You might be praying, thinking God is not hearing you. I'm here to tell you, he heard your prayer. Today, 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 your miracle is at the door. Is at the door. Don't be afraid. Don't come to your mirror. Open your door and take it. We need Christians who are not intimidated when they are waiting for something. They pray. They say it's only God. We knew that he killed James. But he won't kill Peter. We knew I lost the job in that company. But I won't, I won't lose the job there. I'm getting it. Your failure of the past cannot determine what you are crying from God. It takes God to honor you if you believe shall Shake somebody say, hey, my God is honoring me. He's honoring me. He's honoring me. He's blessing me. He's honoring me. He's blessing me. I'm not shaken by the past. I know my God is involved. I'm not worried by the failures of the past. My God is answering me today. My miracle is on my door. And I'm not afraid. God has answered my prayer. God is on my side. Where are you up? I take what belongs to me. When I open, I take over. Because it's long I've been waiting. If you believe, I'm ready. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. David said, I was in the bush. I'm also here in the bush. I saw a lion. I fought a lion. I will also fight this lion. Saul, the king, is not standing with me. But I have God. I feel anointed. And this anointing is to make me a winner. So today, Goliath will Fall in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing that too. If you say I hear. We need Christians who can say God took me there. Even here God will take me forward. Don't judge yourself by what you are facing here. Look at your age. Look at your age. Many people didn't reach your age. The same God who took you from that age and brought you to 2016. It means there's something fishy. There's something that must happen in this 2016. I don't know if you're hearing it. Shake somebody and say, hey, I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something. Are you feeling something? Are you waiting for something? It's not too late. 
Satan is lying. Satan is lying. He said, look at yourself. Look at the year. The year is finished. You must tell Satan. 1,000 years is equal to one day before God. You must answer that Satan. He wants you to be hopeless. He is telling you. Christmas is around the corner. Tell him, say, hey. When I would just say, oh, wow. my God can do a miracle overnight. And today, something How many of you believe that? Do you believe that? Something is happening in your life. Something is happening. God is honoring you. He's honoring you. He's blessing you. Nothing is too late. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Congratulations. Listen. I love to make an altar call, but not all the time. No one knows God. No one has seen God. Except Jesus. And Jesus said, and it just so relay. You can't go to God. Except through me. You need to accept him. And believe that truly you have accepted him. You see, there are many, many backsliders. Many, many backsliders. People are going to church. But without Jesus. Jesus said, Whatever you ask the Father, it means you ask God in my name. In other words, having Jesus is a license of your desire. From the Father God, who created everything. I don't know if you are hearing me. So your relationship with Jesus is a matter of your relationship with Jesus. Tell your relationship with Jesus matters. You can talk about God if you have Jesus. I don't know if you're hearing me. Not when you are still lying, sinning, or you are outside of his way. Check your life. Today, you can say, I need it, and I don't want to go back. I want to follow him. If you want to do that, don't waste time. Follow me and come and see. Come and stand here now.